Welcome sa ating channel, we are here to talk about the initial benchmark pagdating naman sa gaming So previously we talk about the editing So bakit ko inuna yung editing? Dahil mas confident po tayo dito sa ating naging results Hindi po siya, kumbaga, mixed results na uh, It's not to the point na inconsistent Pero kahit papaano, mas firm That uh, if this is uh, the number na lumabas Then ibig sabihin, that's uh, the actual number And you can't do anything uh, to change that Unlike with gaming, kumbaga medyo may konting uh, uh, variation in different setups at the same time in how you will replicate that setup that uh, mas magiging fair pagdating naman sa 10900 or sa 14 nanometer. So we have here the 10 nanometer or the latest uh, 12 gen. At the same time, we will also try to compare it from a Windows 10 and Windows 11 configuration. So isang video na lang po ang gagawin ko. Since uh, the main topic in here is what will be the performance of this processor out of the box. In most cases, most of us users will just do some uh, tweaks or maybe adjust two settings na auto pa rin, And then we'll have it and uh, use it for gaming or yes, uh, everyday usage. Pero uh, ito nga, anong magiging performance mo if you will do that and how will it be compared to other hardwares? And yes, operating system. With that being said, let's talk about this. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, Ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. So eto ngayon makikita nyo po dito. We have here the BIOS of ASUS. So ASUS pa rin yung ginamit natin. The media kit that we have. The Z690 Maximus Hero. And uh, definitely ito pa rin yung gagamitin ko rin uh, motherboard when I will compare 12900K sa ating AMD processors. For now, what I want to show you guys is the significant difference of uh, 12900K from Windows 10 to Windows 11. At the same time, how will it be compared sa ating previous uh, generation? Why there is a huge leap? Or why you should skip uh, those uh, 14 nanometer, those old 14 nanometer of Intel na kahit mag-sale sila, parang mapapaisip ka pa rin na why should I go for that uh, processor? Unless, yes, 50% off, maybe, or 100% off, then so be it. Okay, so let's replicate what we normally do after we have or we receive our first uh, PC build. So definitely, there's no much tweaking that we will do. Ang gagawin lang po natin is go sa ating advanced settings. Dahil ang sabi ng tropa, iset mo nga daw ito ng... Uh, by default kasi naka-auto yan. Okay, yan, auto. So, by default, auto. And ang kadalasang tinuturo sa atin, hindi mo na ma-maximize yung PC mo kung hindi mo i-enable yung XMP profile. So, ayan, we set the XMP profile and that's it. Everything is set to auto. Okay, that is the normal setup. And I think 99% or 90% sa ating lahat na nandito does that. And in most cases, lahat ng computer store, 99% or 95%, I may assume, sineset lang nila yung XMP profile and that's it. Release the unit. Dahil uh, if you will tweak those uh, voltage, those uh, frequency, overclocking, manual overclocking, definitely uh, there is, uh, yun nga, mixed results din ang mangyari in the end of user. At the same time, in the warranty side of the computer store, uh, medyo mas uh, higher yung risk. Uh, kasi nga, tuloy nga sinasabi natin, walang perfectly identical na hardware. Kahit magkaparehas, 12900K and another 12900K, kaya nga nandyan yung tinatawag natin na silicon lottery. Anyway, let's do this and talk about how is our experience with the initial game testing ng 12900K. So, unahin na natin kagad na ipapakita sa inyo is the benchmark graph. What we did 
is we run uh, some AAA games and eSports games that definitely you will uh, play with uh, your own uh, PC once you receive it. And makikita natin dito that there is a huge leap from the 40 nanometer architecture that uh, is here in the market for a very long time, four years, five years. There is definitely a huge performance lift as you can see with the graph. This is not uh, really like apples to apples comparison dahil nga 10900 yung gamit natin. Pero since we are setting this in an auto configuration, so medyo parang ka sabihin na lang natin na red apple versus uh, green apple is still an apple. Pero much better nga lang yung uh, lineup ng ating 12900K kasi nga po the unlock processor compared sa ating uh, 10th gen representative na lock uh, processor. It's the, just the 10900. Uh, and yes, this is also the, one of the reasons kung bakit auto or yung kumbaga, stock configuration lang yung kaya ko pong ipasilip sa inyo. Dahil if you will go for the overclock or the uh, uh, manual tweak configuration, definitely I will just be talking about the 12900K kasi wala po tayong 10900K. And also, I didn't attempt to have an 11900 or 11900K 11th gen processor. That is the generation that I really avoid in the very first place. What is the benchmark? Pero makikita pa rin po natin dyan na yun niya, tulad na yung sinabi ko, we are expecting 12900K to be always better than the 10 Gen 11, uh, 10900 processor. Pero makikita natin dito that there are still uh, some games na kung hindi on par, uh, quite better pa yung 10900. So, uh, you may end up uh, telling me na, sir, baka naman nagkamali ka dyan. Parang uh, something naman niyata na hindi ka panipaniwala yan. Well, at some point, yes, you may be right, pero this is because nga din siguro dahil sa stock or yung, kumbaga, yung bias na gamit natin and of course the optimizations uh, sa software, sa operating system side, hindi pa ganun kay stable. And that was proven also when we upgraded the operating system to Windows 11. So as you can see in here, when we upgraded the operating system from Windows 10 to Windows 11, there you have the data. Kahit pa paano, there's a huge lift pagdating na sa sa performance dito sa ating i9-12900K. Uh, I wasn't able to show you now the uh, 10 uh, Windows 11 uh, uh, benchmark dahil medyo gipit po tayo sa oras. Pero uh, the main thing in here, the angle kasi na gusto kong ipakita dito or uh, the view that I want to show you guys is yung um, improvement pagdating dito sa ating 12 gen processors that uh, i think it's better if you will be going for an intel 12 gen it's better if you will now go for the windows 11 there will be a huge real world performance ibig sabihin this is the actual performance that you will not, uh, that you will experience it's not just a uh, synthetic benchmark or uh, something benchmark that we present in here but it's actual benchmark that you will experience definitely so, makikita nyo po dyan yung difference ng ating Windows 10 versus Windows 11. So, if that is the case, well, the bottom line now of this video is just to show you guys that you should go for a Windows 11 when you go for an Intel 12 gen. And, another one is since we showed you the 10900, i9 10900 uh, benchmark, then skip those older processors. Kasi, yun nga, tulad ng sinabi ko sa previous video, Yehey, nandiyan na yung 12900K uh, 12, uh, or 12 gen processors. Magmumura na yung 10 gen and 11 gen. So, uh, we could afford it. Yes, it's okay. Uh, it's a good reason naman yan. It's a uh, very reasonable actually. But it's not like the uh, uh, way how uh, AMD works. Na, okay, nandiyan na yung 5600X. Magmumura na yung 3600. And for me, I will go for the 3600 kung bibenta nila ng 6K, 7K. Of course. Dahil ang gagawin ko lang, you overclock ko yung 3600, it's not really that it will work as good as those 5600 or 5600X processors. Pero, it's not that far. Kung baga, medyo close lang yung differences, di ba? And then at the same time, what is the purpose of the processor? Is it really for gaming or, pro or uh, production? And, di ba? Pag production, medyo halos dikit lang. Kasi still, under 7 nanometer, and uh, maybe there is an IPC improvement for the uh, AMD higher variant, uh, later variant. Pero still, not as like with the Intel case right now. Now, if you will go for a 12th gen processor, both production and gaming, better processor 
ang ating Intel 12th Gen compared sa 11th Gen or 10th Gen. So, uh, there's no reason for me that if you have the budget that you can afford 12th uh, i9 processor, i7 or i5 processor, you will still settle down with those older uh, ano, older variants. So, I think there's no reason for me. Even na mag-sale po sila. Plus, of course, DDR5. mag intel ka na lang din naman, mag-DDR5 ka na lang. Diba? Well, that's it for our quick benchmark pagdating naman sa gaming ng ating Intel 12900K and of course, ASUS Z690 Maximus Zero. So, we will be focusing our uh, topic soon sa ating motherboard sa ating next video. At the same time, uh, show you how good are those uh, AI uh, features ng ating uh, 12 gen processors, uh, the overclocking side, yan yung mga pag-uusapan natin. So, if you also think na kulang yung mga topics natin with this video, just check on our previous video naman pagdating sa editing side. So, ayun po, hinati-hati ko po ang different topics on different videos. Kaya, if you want to check uh, editing, production, check our previous video, then this for gaming, and our next video, for um, ayun, overclocking at the same time the following video for the PC build. That's it guys. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.